So yeah, they tell you what number they are, and then Red Pepper Hot Springs, they'll tell you about the places where you rescued them. 41, I live a totally carefree life. Nothing bothers me at all. No, except for the soul-crushing burden of trying to stay optimistic. Solidarity, my good toad friend. Fire breathing dinosaurs. Never seen anything like them before. Neither have I. Hey Mario, remember me? Toad? From that other game we were in together? <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, I was the second from the bottom out of the 30 of us in that train trunk, meaning I was the 29th to come out. That is tragic, my friend. I'm so sorry. Uh, Larry totally ruined our plans to save the day, but at least we got to enjoy the circus. You're telling me. So, yeah, it's kind of insane. He joined because of red uniforms. That's awesome. That was the fucking SS excuse, wasn't it? It's between you and me, but the squad leader said he wants me to replace him when he retires. All right, fuck you. Don't don't be a brown noser, man. So with all 50 of them here, they can now play for the open house or full house, I guess. Sweet. All 50 members have gathered. All that's left now is to wait until the show opens. Now, don't talk to the toad again, otherwise they'll do the roll call again. And so, it's good. The Emerald Circus will start as soon as we've got a sellout crowd. Well, what do you know? That's an audience. Sweet. Go in and take your seats. <laughs> yeah, we found all rescue toads. And what's funny is that even though 50... Uh, rescue toads equals a full house. Uh, technically, half of the house is filled with shy guys. So yeah, I, I, I smell a little bit of inconsistencies there. Uh, anyways, Yoshis are still going to be there for all of eternity. So let's go in and see if we can enjoy the show. I'm so excited, you guys. Uh. Wow, so this is a circus? It's so lively in here. Every seat is full and the audience is giddy with the anticipation. Cool. Well, being a paint can, he's never been to a circus before, so... Let's see what it's got. Ladies and gentlemen, toads and shy guys, plumbers of all ages. You are moments away from experiencing the Emerald Circus in all its glory. Without further ado, allow me to introduce our first act. It's the show everyone's talking about, Lemmy's Super Illusion Show. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> thank you, thank you, it is I, Lemmy, the greatest, most uh, humble illusionist in all the world. The things you're about to see may shock you, they might astound you, but they'll definitely impress you. Ooh. Spotlight. Oh, hey -o. Now, the ringmaster here is just your average garden variety shy guy. Yes, don't look so surprised. <laughs> hmm. Oh, boy. Now, feast your eyes on this, my magic wand, my rod of perversion. Phenomenon arcane power in a slim and user-friendly stick. Now, you see him? Oh, God. No, I don't. Uh, where did he... Did I vaporize him? Oh, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, boy. Murder! <laughs> oh, you, sir, have you seen him? <laughs> Toad's like, oh, my God! Thank you, thank you, you're easily entertained. And now... Hmm. The big paint star, by God! It's glorious. It's a shiny green paint star. And now watch closely. Oh. <laughs> now, where could the big paint star have gone? I couldn't tell you. You there with the ridiculous mustache and the rusty can. Where do you think that extra special big paint star went off to? You didn't need that. Hee hee key. All right, game. Jerk. Ah, where did it go? That lemon guy made it disappear before he escaped. Of course he did. What? Lemon disappeared? That, that's not in the script. 
Oh god, the microphone's still on. Oh god, no, we, we gotta stall. Get out there and do something. Uh... <clears throat> um... Hey folks, uh, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. It seems that our main performer has vanished. <laughs> so please everyone enjoy this unscheduled intermission. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna do some curl ups and uh, reach my toes. It's gonna be great. All right, I can still smell the big paint star, so it must be close. Let's go find it. Indeed. First, we can see the outrage that these toads are in. There's an intermission already. This thing just started. Yeah, more illusions. I love illusions. Bring back the illusions. I like tricking my eyes because I'm a dummy. I like the part when the guy disappeared and then he was gone and he never came back. Same here. So there's nothing actually over here. Just a bunch of angry toads who just really want to get their magic fix on. Even though I thought that circuses were more about, like, acrobatics and performing arts rather than, well, magic shows, right? We're going to see a lot of that. Don't you worry. Boo, no intermissions. I want my money back. Yeah, because shy guys obviously care about currency. Yeah, you guys don't really care. That magic wand is really magic. It looks fake to me. All right, cool. Twitter egg. You go ahead and keep thinking that, why don't you? All right, well, looks like we have nothing else to do than um, maybe go all around the back. What? I had no idea that Lemmy was going to vanish like that. What a showman. Yeah, I agree. Everyone seems to be freaking out, though. Show got interrupted and the audience is getting restless. Someone's got to entertain them until the next performer is ready. And then... <gasps> Yoo -hoo. I'm just kidding. I'm not even going to try. So, he's going to be talking to us. Thanks for helping me escape that haunted inn. Good thing we did and it was plot related. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to progress through this point. So, thank you. Yeah. Even though you were in an egg, right? No, I don't think he was. Anyways, he came to bust his friends out. Which is not good for us, because those Yoshis are rabid, man. So, anyways, are you okay? <laughs> Yoshi escaped during the confusion. They're a rowdy bunch, so be careful. Yes, be very careful. Can I jump on you? I really just, just want to write you once, just for old time's sake. I'll never get tired of this gilded cage. I can live in here forever. So, anytime you tried to pull the tape off here, and the Yoshis were still inside, they would have just eaten you every time. Cool. Is it everything you thought it would be, and more? Uh, looking closely, that cage isn't as nice as I thought it would be. I, I've decided I want to be a cage-free Yoshi. You go and do that, my friend. <laughs> Don't worry, that's a term of endearment. I, I always bash my best friends in with a paint hammer. Don't worry about me. Uh, we've got ourselves some performing uh, bros here. When he vanished in the thin air, knowing him is probably part of his act. Maybe someone shaking his groove thing. I swear that guy, once he hits the dance floor, he's totally incapacitated. That's definitely not his weakness. Also, he looks fucking great on it, so... <laughs> yeah, the ball that Lemmy rides a lot is a lot more fragile than it looks. I bet a shoop should a super sharp thing could pop it. I'd have to be distracted first, though. Hmm, so the first enemy that we need a one-two double thing punch to kill him. Interesting. Also, I really don't want that. I don't need it. All right, let's go backstage, because I think that star was the last thing we needed to paint in. It was incredible. And speaking of things that we need to finish off 100%ing, this is where I found for the first time where we needed to do this. And I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. I wonder if there are more of these out in the world. There are. There was about, what, 10 of them or so. But it gives us some pretty good items. So, thanks. Game looking out for number one here. So... We'll go and collect these, and we actually can, and we're going to pull this, because this will actually grant us our final thing, if I can reach it. Despite being Mario, I can't <gasps> bring down the roof. Oh, yeah. Our last thing. <sighs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. You got a disco ball. This relic from years past is making the comeback. None can resist its call to hit the dance floor. No, it's not. And there it is. I knew it. I figured as much. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of this. And we should be fine. We won't be getting any more cards here, I believe. So we'll go ahead and take a quick save. This is a nice little nod there to uh, another Mario game. And uh, let's go ahead and enter the stage as the main act, the headlining performer. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. <laughs> oh. And we're back. 
Thanks for your patience, folks. Please put your hands together for the Mario and Luigi Super Fun Time Show. Don't be shy, fellas. Oh boy. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't do well in front of crowds. Well, anyways, it didn't take a lot to persuade me, so here goes nothing. Come on, you just gotta warm them up. <laughs> um, hmm. You guys, um, you guys like impressions? Oh god, you're not gonna make me do any stupid voices, are you? It's too late for that. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh my god, I love impressions. <laughs> Tin cans always be like. That was so stupid. Just the fact that they put the be like, that's just the worst. It's like Instagram cancer. <laughs> yeah, that joke used to kill back at the recycling plant. I thought maybe because paper is recyclable too? Yeah, that kind of went over their heads. They're millennials. They don't get it. Anyway, it's time for Mario. Alright, Mario, got any jokes up your sleeve? Please tell me you've got something. Some sweet banjo skills? Something. Yodeling, even. And the crowd goes wild. Really? They liked that, but my tin can impression flopped? Where was my mushroom hat? <laughs> well, you see, Mario was actually prepared. Ooh, that was just classic Mario. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, the Emerald Circus main act. These potentially death-defying performances will keep you on the edge of your seat. And with that, let's get this party started. With an enemy rush, with awesome music. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we ah, oh. please welcome to the stage a terrifying green beast with eight heads, sixteen eyes, one wheel, and the worst self-esteem of any group of young gentlemen you will ever meet. The trick-riding, introverted, unicycle shy guys. Oh man! So the gimmick for these series of battles we are about to do will include a multitude of very unique enemies that only appear during this encounter, which is really cool. So we have the unicycle shy guys, and you would think that because there are so many, you would use like a hop slipper or e-camera on them. Not exactly the case. These guys are actually more damage based to kill them rather than hit based, like normally. So what we're going to do is use a throwaway item because in the back you can see a little Yoshi who seems to have lost his way amongst the crowd. And what he does is he jumps on stage and eats a card from you. One you're about to use, I think, almost at random. It's kind of annoying. Actually, it is very annoying, so... Um, we're gonna use the e-camera. It's not effective on these guys at all. And we'll use a big jump here. That should hopefully take him out. Let's try that, and, uh... Just hopefully avoid this Yoshi. I have never been able to guard against him. He's so annoying. <laughs> What's this? Who let that Yoshi out? Great. Don't do it. Oh, my God, I did it! Mario expertly guards himself against the Yoshi's ravenous appetite. And as they stare each other down, Mario towers over the beast and he runs away with an empty stomach, I guess. So, anyways, we still get to use this. Oh, wow. Ooh, tough break, kid. That didn't do squat. All right, well, now we have an antagonizing announcer. Can get rid of that. And, um, that's awesome. I've never guarded against him before. Ugh, there we go. Holy smokes, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Holy smokes. Well, <laughs> does it for the unicycle, guys. Looks like they were all fluff and no substance. Hooray! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> YouTube comments in a nutshell. 